हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी सेक्शन मोडुलस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल बिफोर डिफाइनिंग सेक्शन मोडुलस लेट अस सी व्हाट इज द यूज ऑफ दिस सेक्शन मोडुलस एंड व्हाट इज द इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ दिस सेक्शन मोडुलस राइट Uh, go to bending equation. I am saying that remember bending equation. It is very very important. What is bending equation? That is m by i equal to sigma y y equal to e by r. These are bending equation, right? This you have to remember on your fingertips. It is very important equation. M by i sigma y e by r. So this is our bending equation. Now the stresses are developed in the material. stresses are developed in the material so what is stress stress will be equal to m y i i by y i am writing this y downward so i am writing combine this i by y i by y right what it shows what it shows that if i by y is less stress will be high if i by y is higher the stress will be lower right so it means that this i by y term moment of inertia divided by the distance uh, of the fiber from the neutral axis it is having a, a resistance uh, quality right it shows the strength of the material if the strength of the material is higher stress produced in the material will be lower and if strength is lower stress will be high right so this i by y quantity is very important i by y quantity is very important right so what is y basically you know then in that uh, suppose i make a beam i will make a beam here like this uh, i am making a beam here like this right so what is y maximum y basically y is the distance distance of the fiber from the neutral axis right from the neutral axis right this is the y and you know that the stresses are maximum at the maximum uh, value of y right so this is basically y max this is the y max on on any side you can take so at outer fiber fiber the y is maximum right so if i say that y maximum then you will get the maximum stresses because maximum stresses at the out, at the outer fiber fiber right so maximum stresses are at outer fiber like this so stresses are maximum at the outer fiber right like this so y max right so this is the right so this is y max y max right the distance of the fiber from the neutral axis right so stress will be maximum at the y max right so stress i am writing here m by i divided by y max so basically this quantity this quantity at this quantity the stress will be maximum so this quantity shows the uh, strength strength of the material that if i by y maximum is higher the stress will be lower if i by y maximum is lower stress will be higher right so so uh, it shows the strength of the material so i by y max quantity shows the strength of the material right so lower this higher will be the stresses higher this lower will be the stresses right so it shows the strength of the material right or in other sense if you want to see in other way right so we can write this is moment of resistance of the beam moment of resistance m so you can write m so this this quantity is basically the section modulus in other way you can write that m is equal to moment of resistance i am writing mr moment of resistance that is equal to sigma multiplied by i y y max again if this quantity is higher the moment of resistance will be higher 
so this quantity is very important i by y max and this quantity i by y max is called the section modulus so section modulus uh, is z that is i by y max so this quantity is very important because it shows the strength of the material rigidity of the material right so this is called section modulus section modulus right so what is section modulus it is the ratio of it is the ratio of moment of inertia moment of inertia uh, of a section of the section of the section of the beam of the section of the beam and moment of inertia about neutral axis about neutral axis about neutral axis it is the ratio of inertia to the to the uh, distance of the fiber maximum distance of the fiber from the neutral axis to the maximum distance of the fiber from the neutral axis from the neutral axis right so from neutral axis we are taking the vertical distance y and from the neutral axis we are taking the moment of inertia for the this cross section and the ratio of these two quantities moment of inertia divided by the maximum vertical distance or maximum distance of the fiber that is called z right so maximum distance here we are saying means that outer fiber we are talking about the outer fiber so y max is basically what is this this is the distance of distance of outermost fiber outermost fiber from neutral axis right from neutral axis we are taking from the neutral axis right so uh, moment of resistance is this i by y max and this is z is equal to i by y max sigma times i by max or sigma max will be m by i by y max this is sigma max now will be m by z basically right so sigma max can be written as uh, m by z this is section modulus right or you can write m will be equal to sigma max multiplied by z section modulus so this formula should be remembered so moment of resistance depends on the section of modulus also right so moment of resistance will be higher resisting power will be higher if the z is higher right so this is basically moment of resistance right you should remember that we have already uh, done in our previous lectures this m is basically the moment of resistance right so this is the part of section modulus.